this computer. All right, it says it's recording, so hopefully we're good to go. Um, now, uh, can you share your screen? There's a green button at the bottom center, and I think I said it, so you can. Yeah, I'm gonna have here. Ah, here comes something. Yes, here we go. All right, now let's go to Blogger. I'm gonna go to my recipe. I think it's like on the third page, if that's okay. Um, you can go up to that search box at the top right and search for your last name. Oh, I see it right here. Um, this is one of my recipes, uh, the potage marinari. Okay. Now, uh, for people who haven't gotten as far as you see the Try the New Blogger, why don't you click uh, on that? I'm trying to... It's the bottom left. Okay. Because this is where people get messed up. All right, so when it comes to fixing code, new blogger, can we get rid of that yellow box at the top? What is that? Um, yeah, fix out of that, if you will. Yeah, one second, I'm gonna do this. It's taking up power, okay. So for fixing these recipes, new blogger sucks. So we're going to switch back to legacy blogger. <laughs> and it may be that someday in the future they'll fix it, but you see revert to legacy blogger on the lower left of your uh, left yeah so um yeah now you are already there but people who are watching the video might not be so that's the first step to fixing code is getting it to where you can see the code and to do that you have to go with the traditional blogger as of june 2020 who knows what it'll be down the road all right so you found your recipe yeah, I'm just getting back to it real quick. You want me to click edit or view? Yes, let us edit. Okay. Oh, ouch. Uh, do you see the problem? Uh, no, I'm not familiar with code. Okay. Click on compose. But this is a good example uh, because um, you know, it's got a, a range of stuff. Okay, click on preview and we'll see what I was uh, writing about earlier. All right, see how it doesn't look like the rest of the blog? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna fix that. All right, okay. click back on the blogger. Now let's click on that HTML. Okay. All right, so do you see the very top line, H3 space class equal, uh, yes, leave sir. that, but do you see where style equal? Yes, sir. Highlight from style to the close angle at the three lines down, but leave the angle. All right, okay. delete that. All right, delete that extra space. All right, so you see span and slash span. I think it's holding nothing in it uh, along with the break. So uh, the next one, two, three, four lines, delete all those. Let's see. So like starting with the span right here? Yeah. All this right here? Right. Okay. And that encoding world is called cruft. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right. Um, now, see the two divs and then the two slash divs, delete all that. Mm -hmm. So, you want me to do the div class one? Yeah, delete that and then the next div up. They open up the divs and then they close them out with that nothing in them. So it's just adding space. Mm -hmm. So delete that whole div that you're on right now. It's three oh, lines I worth. Can. Oh no, go up. Oh, you okay. missed it. Um, this one you're talking about the span? No, go up a bit. It's three lines from the top of the page. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Yeah. Do you want me to leave the style equals? No, we'll leave. We'll delete that. 
Okay. Yeah. Good. Did you type this in something else and then paste it? Or how did that? No, I just did it all in Blogger. I don't know what they're doing. Okay, press enter. This will go away later, but it gives us a little. Okay, see span and slash span, delete that. Mm -hmm. Pretty much all the spans will go. So all the, the break. Span. Okay, so the slash uh, span just delete. Yeah, but keep going up to the span opening, uh, three lines above. So the span style one? Right. Okay, so delete all that. Yeah, it's just more empty code. It may be the new blogger. It may be that I have to tell everybody to turn. But there's, okay, d delete that whole line. All right, sorry. I found out this weekend that Blogger has introduced a bug into its uh, classic style so that you can no longer upload a picture. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a pain until they get it figured out. Um, but it's the first time in years they've tried to do anything to it. Uh, get text struck, font adjust, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that whole div there is. Uh, Cruft, so just delete those four lines. Okay, the H3, leave the H3, but take out style equal all that stuff. Okay. No, a line above. Okay, I'm sorry, was that? Oh, I'm sorry. Can you undo that? Um, would it just be control undo? Yeah, I guess. I'm not sure what that just said over here. Ah, oh, shit. I don't remember what was there. I think that was the text. Oh, it was ingredients. Just type in ingredients. Okay, just ingredients. Uh huh. Like, now, is yours in French or English? Uh, it's in both. You, I think you did a comment that you wanted both. Like, is this part French? Because I saw a um, uh, accent over one of the e's in ingredients. Yeah. Oh crap, sorry. Um, hold on one minute. Ah, yes, it's the first D. Uh, so go before that first D in ingredients. I think when I was originally doing it, I just copied and pasted it with the like accent over it. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what got you in trouble was the copying and pasting. Um, yeah. It tends to blow code up when you do that. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, go before the E. Okay. Ampersand. I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Seven. It means oh. and. Uh, go after the E. Oh, ah, for the E, sorry. And type in the word acute, like an acute angle. Ah, for the ampersand? Or? Oh, no, delete the second ampersand. Okay. It's ampersand E acute. There we go. So type acute. E, and they'll convert it, but that's better than copy and pasting. Semicolon. Uh, let's see. Wait, I'm Good. Now go after ingredients, angle, uh, that's a slash. We'll need okay. the slash in a second, but the angle comes first. The angle is at the... Uh, Shift this. comma, okay. slash, H3, close angle. Okay. All right, so go back up to H3 at the line before that and uh, take out style equal and all the text after that, leaving just the code. So all that right there, just to make yeah. sure. And the, okay, so you're starting to see the, the difference between clean code and, you know. Yes, I am. Uh, yeah. It start, it's like you can actually read it. 
<laughs> All right, now in the line before, below that, there are three, one, two, three divs, and then several lines down there, three slash divs. We need to take all six of those out. Okay. See, what happens is when you copy and paste, um, it usually doesn't just paste in text, it's pasting and formatting, and bloggers trying to interpret the formatting that's being pasted and it's making a guess. Okay. You ever see the fly? It sounds familiar, but. Uh, Jeff Goldblum, um, oh, who is the woman? Gina Davis, uh, no. 1988. And he went through this uh, transportation pod and it got confused and spliced him with the fly. That's basically what's happened to your code here. <laughs> uh, but we're cleaning it up, uh, which is better than what happened to Jeff. All right, so you see UL style equal, uh, the next line down. Oh, let's put an extra line in there. Go after the H3, the slash H3, uh, and after ingredients. Okay, so yeah, I see it. Enter, all right. It's, it'll disappear eventually, but it makes it easier for us as humans. Okay, you see UL style equal and all that stuff? Yes, sir. Read all that stuff. But leave you else, leave the UL. There we go. Good. Yeah, this is a great one to work with because it's got most of the stuff that happens. Mm -hmm. All right. So see all those LIs with all that stuff after them, style equal? Yeah. So once again, just take out the style. Okay. Leave the LI. And the yeah, and the quote mark too. Hold on, he didn't uh, yes. finish. Okay, I'm sorry, sis. So See one onion white go, go on that line? Yeah, so do quote marks. Yeah, do the quote mark. Okay. No, take them out. Do you want me to delete the style as well? Style equals? Not yet. I want to fix the onion first. Okay. So. I'm like Rain Man. <laughs> yeah. No, no, take out style. Okay. Take out everything but angle, li, close angle. Okay. You have I thought a model. You put marks in there. Sorry. There we go. One more. One, Is more, it uh, one more space. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> all right. So that's our model. Okay. So all your other li's will be like that. But don't take out the whole line. Oops. To cut your ingredient. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what that was. Okay, uh, click back on the next uh, tab at the top, you know, at the very top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll get lucky. Four tusses. Uh, see that? Yeah. Let's take a chance and copy that line. Let's see. It's not letting me uh, copy it. Uh, hold on. That's weird. I'm not sure if it's because it's just a preview. Oh, that could be it. I can just uh, all right. Write. Go back. We'll type it in. I took a picture of it. All right. So be careful because you've got code and you've got text and you don't want to delete your text. So mm -hmm. put the close angle after LI. All right, four. Tasses, is that how you say it? Uh, yes, it's tasses. <laughs> Tasse, uh, space, D. Uh, take out the E though. Ampersand, wait, don't, don't space yet. We won't be spacing. Uh, okay. R S Q U O semicolon E A U. What's that? Four teaspoons of water? Yes, sir. I mean, ah. four cups of water. <laughs> four cups, okay. Oh, yeah, Demi Tuss is half a cup, right? All right. So 
Uh, this time, be careful to just take out style and the stuff between the quotes. Okay. You want it to match what you have above. There you go. Yeah. Is that fried fish? Let's see. Uh, sorry. Perfect time to poison fray. I'm thinking fried fish. A little salt. Yeah, there we go. This is making me hungry. All right. Let me take out the, there you go. You want me uh, to go for the arm yeah, speed? Uh, yeah, take out the span and the break. So this one right here, just. Yeah, and we'll just put a blank line there. So up to the BR and. Well, in the end code. Okay. When you take out a code, you want to take out the whole thing. Okay, there's code still there. Okay, so. so... Blank line. Okay, blank line. There we go. So for the rest of? Uh, H3, take out all the style stuff. Okay. I'm looking at fractions. Ah, here we go. Um, go back up to the one fourth cup of uh, butter. All right. Uh, see that one fourth? Yes. Okay, take that out. And type in ampersand frac, F R A C. It's for fraction, uh, one four. Semicolon. Is there supposed to be spaces between them? No, it's all solid like that. That's the way those okay. codes work. Isn't that cool? It'll be a one fourth instead of a one slash four. All right, take out that span below H3. Oh, oh, that the H3 is empty. Just take out the, both of those lines. Uh, uh, see, there's nothing in there, but not the third line. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I just noticed it was empty. Okay, let's look at the next one. Uh, what's going on? Oh my. Okay, look, several lines down. What are, what are we doing? Is this... Uh, can you click back over into the next tab for a minute? I'm a little confused. Usually I can see in my mind what the code's doing. Oh, I see. We've gone on to instructions, right? And then we'll get to the English version? Yes, sir. Ah, oh, cool. All right, let's go back and do that. So in, okay. uh, instructions. Uh, go after H3 there and type in the word instructions. I guess it's the same in French. Uh, yes, I believe it is. Uh, let me check. Yes, instructions. <laughs> instruction. <laughs> <laughs> I really never really do the accent. I did only like two years in high school, but. <laughs> oh, me either. I've, I've been uh, trying to learn it, but. I chop it. You know, there are two Frenches. Mm -hmm. There's the written French, and then there's the spoken French, and never the twain shall meet. You know, Latin's real simple. You just say all the letters. Okay, angle yeah. slash H3. Angle. 
<coughs> close angle. All right, now here comes the cruft. See that div style? Yes. That whole tag comes out. So angle to angle, all of that. Okay. But when you Sorry, delete the opening of a div, you need to delete the closing. Okay, delete that. Put in a, there you go, put in a space, because we're moving from a heading to our uh, list. Mm -hmm. All right, now look several lines down, you'll see a slash div and a slash h3. Yeah, Let's I got that. delete that. Along with the angle. All right, and put his blank line there. Okay, now what we have, is a numbered list, which is OL. And um, you see the OL at this top and the slash OL, so that's when we're grouping all that stuff together. Mm -hmm. All right, now, uh, style equal, take out all the style stuff. Okay. This, that stuff is called CSS, Cascading Style Sheet, and the idea behind it is that you'll be able to go in one place and set your style for the whole website, which it does until it comes across CSS inline like that. And the inline CSS will overwrite it, and that's why it looked wrong. Mm -hmm. So, the, um, you know, they, they want to take over your CSS one line at a time. It's horrible. All right, now let's go back up to the first line. You see the span, no, um, let's okay. finish cleaning up the first line. Okay, span style equal font, take that out. Along with the code, uh, the code marks. So the uh, brackets. The angles, well. yeah. Okay. The brackets, I guess sure. they're brackets, yeah. The angle brackets. Okay, mm -hmm. let's take a look. Okay, take out the slash span. Or it'll confuse blogger. And let's say they're closing out of span, but I don't see where it was open. And the code. Um, Take the code with it. Oh, you, sorry. That's it. Okay, now your next three LIs have um, quote marks. So take out the quote that will definitely confuse. Your browser. All right, and take out span style equal e medium, everything including the angles. And then we'll have to take out the slash spans. Oh, not the text. Yeah, there you go. So hard to edit. <laughs> you know, after I recorded my last thing, I pasted, I, I was just making sure it was working. I couldn't stop watching it. It's like, uh, I don't know, what are these shows where you do, like watching the fireplace burn or something? Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, 10 hours of rain. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, oh, this is so good. Oh, you got an extra. There you go. Okay. All right. So do you see aesthetically, just looking at it, how the stuff on the top looks better than what's on the bottom? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. It's like um, it's like scraping old paint off of a, something, seeing what's underneath it. Mm-hmm. All right, scroll on down. I think we did your first recipe. Mm -hmm. um, we'll leave that one break, uh, go up a little, yeah. Okay, there's an open div. Let's uh, take it out. I don't know why that's there. But we'll need to, oh yeah, um, yeah. Uh, uh, with the brackets as yeah, well. De delete the, the div and the slash div. Because you always want to balance it. It's like um, like they're on a scale. 
If it sees one, it needs to see the other. Okay, change the B to H3 in ingredients to, in the angles. I'm sorry, I don't see. Oh, you mean this one right here? Or? Uh, one net down. It's angle B, yeah, that's a H3. Okay. So once again, it got confused. It, it kind of looks bold, and maybe I'll throw a div around it. Yeah. Okay, and the slash B becomes a slash H3. Okay. Good. All right. Now you've got one, two, three divs. Uh, let's take all three of those out. and just leave one blank line. Ah, yes. Okay, now we've got to go searching for slash divs. That's another div. Uh, there's a fourth div over the next H3. Yeah, take it out. Blank line, good. Okay, let's keep, oh, yeah. Let's uh, scroll down and hunt for the slash deals. How many slash deals? I think we're up to four. Where are they putting their, so just go all the way to the bottom. I think they're just throwing divs and divs. Oh yeah, let's check out four of those slash deals. Just four? Just four, because that's how we deleted above. One, two, three, four slash deals. Okay. Very good. All right, let's go back up. <laughs> Um, all right, so do you see the UL style stuff? Take out all the style stuff. Okay. Just want it to be a plain UL. Let's see. Does it... okay, delete. There, now you're getting good. Thanks. <laughs> all right, take out, you know, simplify all your LIs. Yeah, I think this will be a really helpful video for other people because it's one thing for me to write it, mm -hmm. but it's another to watch it done and other people be able to just kind of follow what you're doing. Oh, this has been super helpful because yeah. I didn't really know what I was doing before, unfortunately. <laughs> well, I mean, it takes a minute, but after f there are patterns in code, and once you figure out the pattern, uh, it starts simplifying, you know, you get to where you say, oh, okay, there's a, right. And take out your extra uh, quote mark for salt. Yeah, I got it. Don't you love the way these old, they don't give you, you know, some, some amounts, but salt. How much? I don't know. I usually assume it's like a pinch or so until I can taste it. <laughs> yeah, you, you want it to taste right, so. Okay. Is that looking and good? And vinegar or lemon has an extra uh, quote mark. Okay. And the directions don't always work. Last night I was making some rice, the 20 minute, you know, and I must have left it a little too hot because toward the end the water had boiled out and it started to fry the rice. It wasn't scorched, so it tasted all right, but it was, you know, not right. Okay, the next H3, take out all the uh, cruft. There you go. All right, take out the span. The whole span, including the code, uh, the angles, the brackets. I don't know what kind of, well, it's lesser than and greater than, technically. You want me to take out the splash? Yeah, I take mean. out the slash. Yeah, I've got to balance. Yeah. For all okay, these here's up. another extraneous div. So let's take out that whole div. With the style? With the, with the, uh, yeah, with the brackets. 
and really leave a blank line there between instructions and the actual list. All right, take out the style for OL. For all the uh, Lil, just take out the style. Yeah, all you want is LI, angle LI, close angle. No okay. space, no quote mark. Uh, I remember one of these uh, French recipes were really weird. It had like uh, canned veal was one of the ingredients. <laughs> canned veal? Yeah. Ah, so it's veal in a can. I mean, there are still canned meats in the supermarket. Mostly fish though, right? Yeah. But before, um, before refrigerators, you wanted to store meat you had to can it otherwise you had to go to the butcher shop mm -hmm. i'm sure they would say well if you're not good to the butcher shop fine all right let's take out oh my goodness what's with all this there are three divs that aren't doing anything so let's take those out so all these <coughs> yeah. brackets. okay Oops. Oops. not the span yet we want to keep it balanced Oh, wait, let me see what's happening here. Okay. Take out the bottom two divs. Okay. We're going to leave the top one and do something with it. <coughs> okay. Now take out the bottom two divs at the slash divs at the bottom of the page. Okay. We can maintain our balance. All right, go after that div we left. Um, see the one after serve very fine and hot or, yeah. All right, uh, go back one space to where you're between the div and the angle. Okay. And now we are going to do a little CSS space. Style. Equal. Quote mark, text, hyphen. Wait, hyphen. <laughs> Just the, okay. uh, the mark hyphen, not the word. I'm sorry. It looks like a <laughs> minus sign up at the top to the right of zero. Oh, yeah, it's that. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to say um, A line. Like the word align? Yeah. Okay. Colon. Right. Semicolon. Close angle. Never close angle? I mean, sorry, um, close quote, close quote. Okay. Good. All right, now next line. Um, let's make a space above the div, like after the slash ol, just so we can, yeah, there, good. And this is going to be all the stuff on the right of the page at the bottom. See, we're almost through. All right, take up the span on the next line down. Along with the angles. Okay. All right, good. Now, source, space, span style. All right, take out that span. That doesn't even make sense. Spans won't do that. Spans are for in a paragraph, and so they won't align stuff very much. Okay, take out the angles. Put a space back in there. All right, leave the eye. Leave the link. Leave all that. Cooking on old Creole days. Okay, so okay but take Sorry. out the. Um, no, leave that. 
that's okay. good. That's a M dash, and that's a hard space. It means non-breaking space. So if okay. you've got like a one, like First Corinthians, it'll make the one and the C stay together. But it's also a way of putting extra spaces in. All right, take out the, do we have any spans left? Take out the two slash spans. Okay, do you want me to take out the brackets with them down here? Yeah. Okay. And the slash div. We want to keep our div going. You want me to take out the brackets with the slash yeah. div? Yeah. Okay. okay, enter. All right, so this is our next line. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, that is a useless div, so let's take the whole thing out. From brackets included? Yeah. Cool. Root and branch. All right, take out the span. See, that's why your font size was off. This is setting font to medium. And again, it's mm -hmm. overriding the CSS for the whole blog. Okay, take out the angles. Oh, but because we took out the div, we need to add another line in there. So go in that middle line there, the blank one. We're going to put a break, okay. which is just a line break. Angle, BR, and they like to do it uh, like this, put a space. Uh, forward slash, just a slash, and a close angle. Okay. All right, so do you see after prepared by Lauren Burke, then there's a slash span and a slash div. Uh, yes. Put another break there in, there in the place of those two things. All right, so delete those. Yeah. Do a break inside. Right, perfect. If the airline industry doesn't come back, you can always go into coding. But I mean, there'll always be flying stuff. I'm not sure when people be, but you know, everything gets around by air <laughs> uh, anymore. Okay, so we've got another useless div. You want me to delete it all? Yeah, and just leave a blank line that okay. helps us keep our. All right, take out the span, but leave the a ref, a h r e f, leave that. Yeah, take out the code, to, the code marks, the, the angles. Okay, now take out the slash span after anthology. With the code, uh, the brackets. Yeah, yeah, and put a break in there like you did before instead of the slash span and slash div. You want me to take out the div with this one too? Yeah, sure? yeah. Because okay. we deleted that beginning of the div, so uh, yeah. All right, now go after the ang close angle and enter. And this way we can see everything separate, like, you know, source, uh, text prepared by, Lucian Anthology. All right, now once again, take out the useless div. And the span. All right, delete that. Let me do and, the uh, uh, Convert those to a break. Okay. Oh man, we are close. And delete that bottom line. Boy, is that some cruft. <laughs> look at all that mess. All right, now just scroll up and look at your code now and let others. Do you see the difference? Yeah, I definitely do. <laughs> Before it was gibberish. You know, nobody could read that. Um, but here you can actually kind of, you know, keep up with what's going on. Um, and that's um, you know much better. Okay, let's click over on compose and take a look at it. 
in the what it's called a what you see is what you get editor, which is not yeah. quite right, but all right now. Crossing our fingers, let's update it. Okay. And now, oh, okay, go to the next tab. Uh, in, you know, yeah. okay, You're reload that. Oh, it's a preview. Um, okay, let's go back into Blogger. Can we try to find it? Yeah. And then we'll just view it this time. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. One right here. All right, and it's waiting. There we go. Yeah, here it is. Booyah. <laughs> you see the difference? Yeah, it's so very just for our. Uh, uh, other uh, students click on the other tab which is stuck in the old version it's the tab to the left at the top mm -hmm. okay so that's what it looked like so scroll down okay and then click on the other one okay. and we'll see the new one all right okay. excellent now, what is this dish called in English, or does it have an English word for it? I don't remember what the English word for it was. I was just calling it potage marinade the whole time. I think that's cool. We'll stick with that. Uh, I'm gonna look it up just for me. So did you have fun with the, uh, um, like the recipes? The, the, I enjoyed uh, sharing the crunchy shrimp rolls. That was my own personal recipe because ah. I had to make sushi recently. So cool! Did you take pictures? I took some pictures because uh, I didn't have all the necessary ingredients with me, so I just had some of the ingredients to take pictures with because I didn't have shrimp. And let's I like my see. Fresh, and I've been down to New Orleans in a while, so. <laughs> I know. Get your fresh shrimp in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Attage. I'm seeing shirts. Okay, Marinade. How do you say that? Oh, Bargeman, sailor. Oh, C, C, C. Oh, um, seafood pottage. You know, like porridge or something, I think. Okay, let's look at the directions. Boil water in a pot, cut the onion, the English ones. Let boil for five minutes, two pounds, soft to taste. Uh, two pounds of uh, spoonfuls of aioli. I didn't know Ailey was that old. I thought it was some kind of millennial stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, squeeze a lemon. So, I don't know. Maybe the fish falls apart as you cook it. What do you think? I believe so. That seems reasonable. Um, I don't really... The idea of boiled fish is not appealing. Although we have Lula base, right? That's boiled fish. Yeah. Let's check the links since we're here cooking in Ocreo days. Mm -hmm. Try it again. Sometimes it messes up. Um, like it's the way the browser is doing. Yeah. Because it's got a long way to go to find it. Sometimes it just gives up. I'm not sure. It's, I can just look. Let me try it. Okay, is that it? Yes. Okay, let's just in case click on that uh, link, Potage Marinet. Okay, mm -hmm. and click on the 43. You see it goes down. Yeah, I see it. All right, click on that. 
we'll show people how to fix links. This one back. All right, you now go up to your URL at the top. Okay. Uh, click on it and then copy it. Okay, I just copied it. Okay, go back, and that's number 240. Let's go back to Blogger. Do you want me to go back to Yeah, let's go back and edit it. And let's click in the HTML so we can see. Okay, go down. Um, so it's 224, so it was off. But let's try the Compose, because it's easier to do links in Compose. Okay. All right, now go down to the link. Mm -hmm. This is how you correct the link. Okay, see where it says Change? Yeah. All right, now click, now delete all that and click your new link. So it's 240. Okay. Should work. Okay, press OK. And then update. And then let's go back to it in the third uh, tab over there. Okay, you want me to? Yeah. The preview, should I uh, view it again? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, reload that and let's see if it works now. Okay. Uh, it's got the right number. Mm -hmm. I think it's just your browser is confused because there's so many numbers. Try reloading it. Uh, reloading the page I'm on right now? Yeah. Yeah, oh, just enter. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, did you, um, have you put the ALA uh, um, recipe in there yet? Uh, I was just gonna do it so they could have aioli, but if you want, I can go put it in there as well. You can buy aioli. How hard would it be mm -hmm. to put the recipe for old aioli? Yeah, I can put it in there if you want, sir. <laughs> Okay, um, if it's, if it's too much trouble, don't, but it would be cool to have. And then people okay. could see how they made ALA a hundred years ago. <laughs> and they would know it's not just like uh, avocado toast. It does have a history. <laughs> um, what's it telling us to do? Olive oil, I see olive oil. Mayonnaise. I see that too. Yeah, it's like a mayonnaise-ish thing, right? Mm -hmm. I yeah. made some one time and it came out really gross. And <laughs> I've never made it since, but I've had it and it was all right. I think you cut out there in the end. I saw your mouth moving. Oh, I said I had it one time, I uh, made it one time, it was really gross, but then I've eaten it in restaurants and it was all right. Okay. So I blame the cook. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so do you feel like you got the hang of it? I do, I'm gonna try the uh, next recipe by myself tonight. And and I will post this so you can watch it again to refresh mm -hmm. your recollection so other students can watch it. Because uh, pretty much every recipe that goes wrong, it's something like what we just went through. It may be different stuff within the style, mm -hmm. uh, but it will be the style that's messing it up. And you just delete it and it fixes it. It's like magic. <laughs> um, because- When are you due since everyone's oh, it's still- Just by the end of the quarter. Okay. So it's a cursive process. You curse and then you recurse. <laughs> Recursive process. Yeah, um, I want everybody to make an A, so I just keep nagging you till it gets right. Mm -hmm. And I think by week four, people will be saying, just give me a C and let me be through. <laughs> uh, but this is, yeah, this is when you can make an A on. Uh, we just keep smoothing it out, smoothing it out, and it'll get there. Okay. But yeah, ALA isn't too hard. Yeah, put that old. Uh, old recipe in there and do it below like they have it like and then do it below your English uh, but still have the ingredients and the directions like separate it the way we do for modern that's kind of the exercise um, 
I don't know if it came through in the notes, but a lot of technical writing is about formatting. Mm -hmm. and so you see these old recipes, they're just a paragraph. That's the way recipes were done a hundred years ago. Yeah. Uh, and then little by slowly, you like the Picayune cookbook. Well, they have ingredients separated out, but then directions are a paragraph again. Uh, and eventually you get to a full, got a heading, you've got a list, it's a, it's a, a bulleted list, and you've got another heading, and then you've got a numbered list. That's all very technical writing stuff. Mm -hmm. So that the modern recipe is much easier for us to use because they're saying, you know, what would do an audience? Well, I know, what if we put all the ingredients together? Oh, and what if we put the steps in order? <laughs> Before you boil it, you should have, you know, like taken the skin off the fish. Well, it's too late. I've already boiled it. So uh, getting things in order, um, that, that's a big part of it. So it's a, you know, we all understand recipes, but now we're understanding how they work and getting into the technical writing. So I, I, I do it for that reason. It's to give you an A and also to introduce you know, like a lot of the technical writing elements in one place, like left align, right align, putting in pictures, uh, aligning the pictures, all of that is kind of core stuff. So mm -hmm. uh, I know it looks kind of lightweight, but it's doing a lot. Yeah. All right. Any more questions? Uh, no, I think it's good. Um, once I finish with all the revisions for the uh, next three recipes, you just want me to comment on my Moodle thread? Be like, yes, comment on the Moodle thread for the recipes. That's how I can keep it all straight because my email just comes in randomly. And in addition to everybody in your class, it's just like all this other stuff. And so if it's on the, on the thread, I can keep up with it a lot better. Okay. And so, so can you probably. All right, yeah. great. I okay. think you did a good job here. You did a great job. Thanks. Have a nice so, night, sir. Thanks. Do you feel better on. about coding now, about what you're doing? I do. I probably have to watch this video just to make sure I still know how to do it. But. <laughs> right. I'll try to go ahead and post that. It takes a while for YouTube to process it, but it should be done by this evening. Okay, sounds good. To take a break. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go get supper, to tell you the truth. It's made me hungry. <laughs> Okay. Well, you have a good evening, sir, and a Me good too. supper. Take care. We'll do. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Let's see. Leave.